Hey guys, uh, we need to discuss few more prerequisite to derive uh, output of an LTA system. Uh, in the previous two videos, I have given two prerequisites which we needed uh, for deriving uh, the equation. Okay. Okay. In the previous video, we said that any discrete time signals can be represented uh, in terms of combinations of uh, time shifted and amplitude scaled version of uh, unit impulse function, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we just extend that uh, concept further, and uh, 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 suppose I have an x of n, something like this. So minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Say this is one, this is two, this is minus two, then this is one. This is 3 and this is 2. Fine. Uh, how do we represent this in terms of uh, time shifted, combination of time shifted and uh, amplitude scaled version of delta of n? So the signal starts from minus 2 and ends at plus 3. So this is delta of n shifted left 2 times and its amplitude is 1, right? So delta of n shifted left 2 times plus 2. Okay, and its amplitude is one. One. This signal is added with delta of n shifted left one time, and its amplitude is scaled by a factor of two. So delta of n plus one, and amplitude is scaled by a factor of two plus. And delta of n, no shifting actually. Delta of n and its amplitude is scaled by a factor of minus two. And this is delta of n shifted right one time, right? So plus delta of n minus one, and its amplitude is one plus 3 times 3 times delta of n minus 2 plus 2 times delta of n minus 3 right so this is how we represent a discrete time signal in terms of unit impulse function and what is this what is the sample we call it as how do we address this sample this is nothing but what x of minus 2 right and this sample is x of minus 1 and this sample is x of 0 this is x of 1, this is x of 2 and this is x of 3. So what we do, instead of writing these samples, this 1, 2, minus 2, 1, 3 and 2, we just write its corresponding index. Okay, This I can write it as x of minus 2 delta of n plus 2. Why? Because this is x of minus 2 right and what is this x of minus 1 what is this x of 0 what is this x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 right so instead of writing this values of samples I will write those index so plus x of minus 1 delta of n plus 1 minus x of 0 delta of n plus x of 1 delta of n minus 1 plus x of 2 delta of n minus 2 plus x of 3 delta of n minus 3 right so we can actually represent this in a compact form okay which i can write it as x of n equal to summation k so it start from where minus 2 okay k varying from minus 2 the signal start from minus 2 right and ends at 3 so k varying from minus 2 to 3 so depending upon the range of the signal you have to put the summation limit if the x of n is varying from minus infinity to infinity then k varying from minus infinity to infinity okay now x shall i write it as x of k to address these values so x of zero, x of minus 2 minus 1 0 i can write it like this right so when i when i expand this summation when k is equal to minus 2 it is x of minus 2 when k is equal to minus 1 x of minus 1 k equal to 0 x of 0 plus x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3, right now how do i represent these delta functions so that uh, our summation equation will match with our sequence so i can write it as delta of i can write it as n minus k okay right 
if I expand it, uh, if I expand this summation, I should get back this equation. Will I get back? Yes, we will get back, right? So when k is equal to minus 2, x of minus 2 into delta of n minus of minus 2, which is n plus 2, which is this. When k is equal to minus 1, x of minus 1 into delta of n minus of minus 1, so n plus 1, this value. When k equal to 0, x of 0, delta of n, x of fine. Okay.